we've set up a game of war. The rules are simple. Our volunteers can bet one, five, or $10, and whoever draws the highest card wins the pot. Of course, war is just a simple game of chance. So simple, it doesn't feel like there's much room for imagination, right? So far, our volunteers have been going against Jim Strong, the reigning war champion, and the bets have been low. One dollar. Now, our volunteers are playing against Eugene Roberts, a novice and a nervous wreck. So one, two, and, and, and three again, right? Will that change the way people bet? Okay, so uh, uh, first, first bet. Betting the max. Betting the max is one, two, three. <laughs> she lost that round, so her confidence must be shaken, and she'll lower her bet, right? Betting the max. Wrong. Why, wait, why do you keep betting the max? So I can win. But why is she so confident, even after losing, that she continues to bet big? One, two, three. Money. Have you caught on to the pattern of betting in this phase of the experiment? Okay, so, ready to play? Ten dollars. Um, okay, one, two, three, turn. Yes. Our volunteers kept betting the max against Eugene. All right, Eugene, I'm gonna bet you the maximum 10. Eugene, I'm gonna come out of the gate big, 10 bucks. Would you do the same? Probably, but why? After all, war is a game of luck, and Eugene has as much a chance to win as Jim, but your brain doesn't see it that way. Betting again, max. Obviously, intimidation has something to do with it. Jim is pretty intense. And Eugene... Oh, shoot, I'm sorry. ...is Eugene, which makes it easier to imagine winning against him. But our participants' imaginations are misleading them in one key way. In fact, to show you just how much their imaginations got the better of them, we'll let you in on a secret. Now, you may have already figured it out. Eugene Roberts and Jim Strong are the exact same guy. That's right, he's an actor we hired to play both parts. And not only are our opponents the same person, as we said before, war is a game of chance. It's a 50-50 chance. Yet, time after time, win or lose, people bet small against Jim. I'm gonna good. stay at the minimum. And big against Eugene. And the reason has nothing to do with the game of war and everything to do with their brains. I'm gonna bet the max again, Eugene. Which shows how your brain allows perception to cloud your judgment. He came off kind of as weak, and in that situation, I just felt it was a great time to bet higher. His imagination made him temporarily ignore the fact the outcome is completely random and the odds are 50-50.